Well, hello there again, Fuzzy Dice fans and fiends and everybody in between. I'm at the uh, the local dealer auction or dealer only auction, and uh, I drove up here specifically to look at a 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art. And uh, as always, pictures hide so much. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Yeah, this paint is absolutely just shot. The headlights are shot, and uh, if anyone's been following uh, my channel on YouTube or here in Rumble, uh, oh gosh, this was held on my tape. We do not have the funds available to do, oh my gosh, look at this. Someone has sanded this down, and uh, they have cut, actually just sanded ruts into the actual metal it's like what were they using for sandpaper just rocks 92,000 miles on it and uh man it's such a shame this is not one of the turbo ones and it's an automatic but from the pictures it looked a lot better it looks like we got some terrible rust on the calipers um gosh the interior seems to be in good condition aftermarket Sony radio I don't even know honestly and the the roof is in the same condition as the rest of the car you move on down it's on the trunk the tail lights are clear this is not the turbocharged one. I'm not for sure what year they got turbocharged, but this has like, like 162 horsepower. So for a car this small, you know, it's gonna seem uh, pretty, pretty peppy. It's a rally art, so it should be also all wheel drive. Don't quote me on that. Um, you know, I'm not an expert on every single vehicle out there and I don't claim to be, but uh, actually I drove all the way up here specifically to look at this car. Cause I thought, hey, you know what? It's probably not going to go for very much, and uh, I might be able to make a quick profit on it. And uh, man, um, short of repainting the trunk lid, repainting the trunk, and repainting this hood, and probably having used some uh, spotter putty or maybe even some Bondo or a hundred uh, uh, coats of some heavy primer it's just not gonna it's not gonna be any good it's, it's not gonna look any good you gotta redo the headlights too um man this car gosh look at those the, the rust on those calipers gosh just on the wheels got a little bit of damage back here this this car should go for absolutely dirt dirt cheap um disappointed but that's why people always say you got to go see them in person so moving on to the next and here we have a 2005 toyota avalon xls 140,000 miles i thought okay an avalon with basically yes a lexus motor in it and uh 140,000 miles. Okay, this must be a great car. I just got in it uh, off camera and tried to start it and uh, It did not want to uh, stay running. So uh, With that being said, <laughs> we're gonna go into the next one moving on Come on now, there's got to be something out here That I like uh, how about a 2006 BMW 3 series of 240,000 miles I'm sure it's a dandy With that many miles on it, I think I should actually quicken my pace to get away from it. Put some distance between me and it. Okay, still looking around. So here we have a 2012 Nissan Frontier. Great looking truck, 156,000 miles. It's, it's a little four-door, it's the Pro 4X off-road. It's got the roof rack. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, this isn't bad. It's like we got LEDs for the uh, running lights, for fog lights, driving lights, right? Whatever you want to call them. And then the first thing I notice is up here in this A-pillar, 
This A pillar has a let me get my a ton of body filler on on there, and automatically, I'm thinking, wait a minute, you know, if you've got body filler or bondo up here on this A pillar, what other little secrets is this truck hiding? Um, leather seats. This one is really hard loaded. Um, you know, great looking truck. I love the little red accents here on the door panels, the seats, all that. Plenty of room in the back seat. But you know, all it takes for me, folks, is one, one, one little thing like that. And there's just so many questions. How much body filler is in this vehicle? Has it been in a wreck? I need to scan it and see if it's been in a wreck. But when you see that on the A pillar of all places, um, yeah, there's, there's too many questions. And I'm, I'm one of those people that, you know, I just, just better be safe than sorry on these vehicles. Uh, it's a 2012, so you know it's it's 10 years old. Like, what, what kind of life has this truck led? Uh, is the whole thing covered in bondo? Is the whole underneath covered in rust? Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and say goodbye to this one and move on. Well, folks, I think we're about to crap out today. Uh, this is a beautiful. Uh, 2012 Jaguar Jaguar if you want to say it I guess correctly look at this uh, you press the Jaguar to start you got the Jaguar Jaguar over there I'll say it correctly but uh, my battery's almost dead but I gotta have you look at this vehicle um, hopefully I know the sun's gonna wash it out let's go ahead and get out here real quick and take a look at this beautiful car the beautiful car that absolutely sounds horrific this is a XJ series this is the L for long this is a big beautiful car and I just bumped into a vehicle I believe the Sun is gonna wash this out let's walk around look at those red line wheels used to red line tires but uh, I know they're red line wheels now hopefully Hopefully the video is doing this car uh, justice. This is the portfolio. This is the absolute top of the line. I need to back up so you guys can see the whole, the whole freaking car because it is big. Um, unfortunately, it is sounding terrible. XJL. Stunning car beautiful car the lines on this are absolutely just exquisite and at 117,000 miles holy cow it does not sound good this over here is all peeling which is sad uh, a light is falling down there look at these controls man oh very soft seats Jaguar down there Got the uh, screens for the windows. Amazing looking sunroof. Maybe you can get a better look at it now. AC is blowing nice and hot. Just the way you'd like it. gonna go ahead and step in here real quick oh mercy and uh, we can get it turned off yeah that's pretty cool and it fades away and there that is this of course retracts yeah this car has a lot of issues Okay, folks, I guess uh, <laughs> this has been a dry run. Uh, as always, check us out. We're on YouTube. 
We are on Rumble. We're on Instagram. We are on Facebook. Like, comment, subscribe. Yes, you can comment if you say, hey, you suck, we hate you, uh, eat hot death. That's fine. Just comment. Give us a subscribe, a like, anything. Uh, and uh, we crapped out on this one. Hopefully we'll do better on the next one. And as always, folks, better cars, best prices. It's fuzzy dice or no dice.